This is a very timely film, isn't it? Because you started actually shooting it the day after Trump was elected. Um, and with everything else that's going on, Harvey Weinstein, mm -hmm. this film about men trying to bully a woman is extremely timely, isn't it? You know what? It was probably a timely movie whenever it was uh, going to happen. We're just aware now that uh, it's a timely movie. And by the way, I would happily trade the fortuitous timing of the movie for a world in which none of this had happened. Um, uh, that this is an inspiration for women who need to stand up for themselves, which is exactly what Molly does at the end of the movie. I, I, I don't want to give away uh, uh, the end. I'm Molly Bloom. Do you know about me? I read the book and then I went to meet Molly and I must tell you, I didn't have high expectations because I thought the woman I was gonna be meeting was someone who was simply cashing in on her decade-long uh, brush with celebrity. I was in a room with movie stars, directors, and business titans. They were going all in all the time. It turned out I was dead wrong about who she was and what she wanted. I'll tell them everything they wanna know about me. About me. That's it. Far from cashing in on all the celebrity secrets that she knows, mm. she has been keeping these secrets. She struck me as a real life movie heroine. She did the right thing when doing the wrong thing would have been a lot easier and a lot more profitable. The night that Donald Trump was elected, at four in the morning, you famously sat at your computer and wrote a letter to the Sorkin girls um, where you kind of apologized for what had happened, but you also said, it's time to F word fight. Yeah. And he said, Roxy, on this occasion, it's okay, it's okay to, use to use that word. Okay, so how's the fight going? Well, um, uh, I'm, uh, first of all, I just want to explain about that letter. It was not, I didn't write it for the public. I honestly legitimately wrote it for my daughter uh, and her mother. Uh, her mother uh, read it and said, gee, would you mind if I forwarded this to a friend? Mm. The friend happened to be the editor of VanityFair.com, ah, okay. who said, is it okay if we print this? And, the, uh, and that's you how that happened. You were happy it was printed in the end, that it was publicized? Uh, if, uh, I'm, I'm happy because as it turns out, other people uh, 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 got mm. something from it uh, as well. And I'll tell you, as long as there are people like Jessica Chastain and Roxy Sorkin, uh, uh, my daughter. daughter, I'm very optimistic about our future even though um, President Trump seems to be scoring a few successes of late, for instance, tax reform in Congress. But what does it tell you about the state of America that you've got one man who boasted about sexual assault, even though he then denies it, and scores of men who've been accused of doing the same thing are being airbrushed out of films and having their careers shredded in front of them. What does that tell you about the state of America? If there is a silver lining uh, in what's going on uh, uh, in Hollywood, and it's, it's at best it's a bronze lining, uh, okay? It's that uh, when, uh, is, is, is that the uh, perpetrators uh, of sexual harassment um, have been dealt with swiftly and decisively, uh, okay? That there's, there has been a, a, a zero tolerance. Uh, I cannot say the same uh, for Donald Trump for Roy Moore, uh, who it looks like he's going to be elected uh, in Alabama uh, to the U.S. Senate. Um, so, uh, uh, so there's that. As, as far as the wins uh, that Donald Trump is scoring, he has raised taxes on people whose backs can least bear it. And um, I, I, I'm saying this not to boast, but to make people appropriately angry. Uh, in my case, he has bought me five free Ferraris, okay? That's what his new tax plan has done. Surely, given what's going on in your country, it's, it's time for a reboot of, of, of the West Wing. This is, after all, about, you know, a sort of idealistic vision of the presidency. Previously on the West Wing. Yeah, listen, I don't think this is going to come as a galloping shock to anyone here. I, I would like to be a part of that very much. The, you know, the, the show was idealistic, romantic, optimistic. Um, and I'd, be a, uh, I'd love to be a part of feeling that way again about our uh, leaders. Are you telling us here on television, in this interview, that you are about to start the West Wing again, a different version of it? I am telling you right now that it's something I would love to do, but I do not have an idea yet for how to do it. So until that happens, I can't say anymore. Is it true that when you write and you suffer writer's block, you have eight showers a day? Yeah. Um, uh, it feels like a do-over uh, uh, to me. Again, and it works? 
No, hardly ever. Um, but you're very clean. Uh, but I'm very clean and I enjoy the shower. Uh, but you know what? Uh, honestly, sometimes it does work.